Hi, I'm Nicholas Mayhew. I'm a junior here at Radford University and I play forward for the men's soccer team. I could always tell that my left side was weaker than my right and growing up and being so young I was always told that it was normal and that I'd, my right side was my predominantly the, my strong side so I kind of just thought of it like that and then as I got a little older but still really young I always knew that there was something wrong. I mean my social norm was different than others. I was in high school and I was playing with the DC United Academy at the time so it was it was really stressful to be in a, an environment like that with those kids and within that program. And waking up one morning and I had my seizure and when I came to, I was in the ambulance and I couldn't really talk because I had completely bitten through both sides of my tongue and I had like dried blood on along my uh, chin and down my neck and um, after I got to the hospital, they ran a bunch of tests and scans and they officially diagnosed it as that I had a dead spot on the right side of my brain. Diagnosed it as me as a result from having a stroke um, due to my premature birth. After having my medical speed bump and then kind of going from such a high and being on such a good path going forward and kind of hitting that speed bump and just kind of having to restart, it was, it was really hard, it was a really dark time, a couple months for me, because I was just so embarrassed and I was just so scared of it all and didn't want anybody to know something had happened at school or something I was afraid that I was going to be made fun of or things like that. But So I was bouncing from team to team and kind of just reaching out to colleges, kind of seeing who would take a chance on me. And, um, and as soon as I got to talk to Mark Reeves, I, I just needed someone to give me a shot. And I was really blessed that he was the one to be able to give me the opportunity because it led me to Radford University and all the support that's been here. I follow U.S. soccer and they had reposted a uh, a picture from the U.S. Paralympic team of tryouts and um, I tagged my brother in it and said, hey, do you think I qualify? The U.S. Paralympic uh, Instagram direct messaged me and they said, if you have any questions, get in contact with our coach. So I emailed uh, Coach Sharp and uh, shortly after he, he called me, just gave me a whole rundown and uh, invited me to come out for a trial in uh, Chicago in the first week of June and uh, the rest is history. field's a little bit smaller and the biggest thing is that it's 7 v 7 so six field players rather than 11 v 11 and 10 field players. Two 30 minute halves instead of two 45s. I found myself running a lot more and just kind of getting used to the different style of the game. Um, we're flying to San Luis, Argentina to play in the world championships of uh, the top teams in, in the world. Um, we've been put in a group with, with number one which is Ukraine right now. It's a good feeling because we always want to we want to beat those top teams because we want to be the top team. So it was good, and so we will play uh, a group and a round robin in the group, and then if we advance out of the group, we'll play um, win or go home, and we're hoping to bring home a medal. To be able to grow up wanting to do, uh, wanting to be able to represent your country and wanting to do that at the highest level that you can, and being able to also get to Division One and play with Radford and play with such amazing people here um, that push you every single day to get better and get better and then be able to go and represent your country doing what you love is amazing and, and um, to be able to do both is definitely once in a lifetime and I'll, I'll never take it for granted. What I've learned is, is that it's okay to open up, it's okay to talk about it and I've become so much more comfortable with talking about it and so much more comfortable with letting my deficiencies show other than just hiding it because I'm scared of what other people will think. Um, but playing here at Radford and being able to represent my country is something that I'll never take for granted and something that, it's, that not a lot of people get to do. Um, and it's amazing. So in the amount of support that the coaching staff um, and all the players have uh, for me is, is overwhelming and, and to be able to do all this is, is amazing. But definitely what I've learned is, is that above anything out there, it's okay.